Hi there, today we're going to learn about comparison and ordering to 200. So for a quick review, we're going to review the symbols. Greater than, less than, and equal to. Remember that the alligator always eats the larger number, so its mouth is open to the larger number, or the back end of the symbol is pointing to the smaller number. So let's go take a look at some numbers and compare them. Okay, so here we have two numbers, 178 and 183. So we're going to use the greater than, the less than, or the equals to symbol. Now, first thing we need to do when, when looking at larger numbers is check to see that they have the same hundreds. In this case, we have a 1 here and a 1 here. Now we have to look at the tens. This 10 here has a 7. This 10 here has an 8. We don't even have to look at the ones at that point. If one 10 is bigger than the other 10, you can just stop right there. If the tens were the same, you'd have to go look at the ones. In this case, though, this 10 here is bigger than this 10 here, so the symbol is going to look like this. 178 is less than 183. If we write it as the word form, is less than. Okay, now you try it. Okay, here we have the number 147 and 133. What symbol is going to go between those? If you said greater than, you are correct. If we check, the hundreds are the same. The tens are different. This 10 is bigger than this 10. So at that point, we can stop and just know, know that 40 is greater than 30. So this number, 147, is greater than 133. Nice work. Okay, let's try this one. Now take a look, check your hundreds, and your tens, and then your ones. If you wrote this symbol, is greater than, you are correct. If we check here, our hundreds are the same. But our tens are the same. So what does that mean we have to do? That's right, we have to check our ones. So if we take a look here at our ones here, we have an 8 and we have a 5. As we know, 8 is greater than 5. If our hundreds and our tens are the same on both numbers, we check our ones. And whichever one has the higher number of ones is, is greater than. So in this case, 178 is greater than 175. Nice work. Now the second part of this lesson is talking about ordering. Putting things either from greatest to smallest or smallest or least to greatest. In this case, I'm going to ask you to make these numbers from least to greatest. Make it from the smallest number to the largest number in line. Okay, so if we look at these, they all have hundreds. So what number do we need to look at next? You're right, the tens. So look at their tens. Which of those three numbers is the smallest? That's right, the seven is the smallest of those. So now we know that 179, because it's the smallest number, because it's smaller than those two nines, has to be the first one if we're going from least. So we have 179. Now what number is going to come next as the smallest number? They both have nines in their tens. So let's take a look at their ones. We have a 7 here, and we have a 3 here. Which is smaller between 7 and 3? You're right. So that tells us if we're making it from least to greatest, 193 would be next. And the greatest number would be 197. If I reverse that and ask you to go from greatest to least, 197 would be first, then 193, and then 179. Nice job. To review, let's solve this word problem. Rhonda has 136 stickers and 48 baseball cards. 
Michael has 123 baseball cards and 147 stickers. Who has the greatest amount of stickers? Well, let's figure it out. Rhonda has 136 stickers, and she has 48 baseball cards. Does it matter how many baseball cards we have? No, it does not. It says, who has the greatest amount of stickers? So Rhonda has 136. Michael has 123 baseball cards and 147 stickers. We only care about the stickers. So Rhonda has 136. And Michael has 147. So what symbol is going to go between that? That's right. 136 is less than 147. So the person that has the greatest amount of stickers, Michael, with the number of 147. Rhonda has only three in the tens. Michael has four. And as we remember, when comparing, check the hundreds, then the tens, then the ones. Great job, and I can't wait to talk to you soon about math.